All right, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough of my workflowy um, productivity mashup. Basically, I've got a couple of things going on here that combines different things that I've seen and read over the years. Um, mainly, it combines the um, bullet journal philosophy with kind of a Kanban or Kanban um, type of moving tasks around. So this is the basic out, you know, most outward view. I have um, a list of tags that I frequently use, an inbox to collect tasks, and then projects. If uh, I have more than one uh, task fits together, then I put it into a project. Um, and then I have an upcoming bullet, below that a today bullet, which is where I can focus, and then below that a log book, which is where the bullet journal uh, idea comes in. And then at the very bottom I have collections, so I'm going to walk through each one of these. Uh, at the very top I have my tags, and these are just example tags. I have many more tags in my actual workflow. Um, but I have three different types of tags. The first type are areas, which is like areas of responsibility. So work home, personal, coaching. And then second type of tag is a type, um, which is like a type of bullet. So some bullets are a draft, some are a list, ideas, journal, project, a plan, uh, notes, meeting, work, you get the idea. Um, these are the kinds of, kind of the, maybe kind would be a better word there. Um, and then priority is the third type, and that's where I use the Eisenhower matrix to prioritize my work. So I have uh, do, which is something that's important and urgent. Devote is something that is important but not urgent. And that devote means I devote time to it, which means I've got to either put it on the calendar or um, just know that I have a block of time to work on something. Delegate, and then uh, delegate's urgent but not important for me to do it, so I can ask someone else to do it. And then decide is things that are not important or urgent that I need to decide if it's worth my time. So those are my Eisenhower matrix um, priority um, alliterated points there, hashtags. Next area is the inbox, and this is where I create tasks just off the top of my head every morning or whenever throughout the day and drop something in the inbox. And I found the easiest way to do this is to tap beside the inbox and then hit return, and it gives me a new task at the top. Um, new, y'all. I don't know what's going on with that. New task. And then, um, let's see what that would do. So, um, but on here you can see I've already explained the Eisenhower matrix. So if I swipe to the right, then it'll complete it. And it leaves it there. And you want to make sure you turn that on where it, where it shows you all of your completed things. Um, because then when they're completed, you move them down to the logbook. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to click and drag drag this down to the logbook. And you have to make sure you indent it like that. And it drops it in there. And we'll look at it, that in a minute. So then all these tasks, um, let's say I have to um, mow the grass. i got to do that uh, this week. So I'm going to move that down to upcoming. Um, read a book. Not sure I have to do that now. Create a report. That's something I've got to do today. Um, pick up the dry cleaning. Got to do that today. Um, call my mom uh, sometime this week or upcoming in the next week or so. Um, I should probably call her today. Let me just go ahead and put her down there. <laughs> Um, I really need to decide about insurance, so I'm going to go ahead and move that down here. And then these other things, I'm just going to leave them in the inbox for now. Um, to see how that works, you basically move things down as you're ready to do them. And anything that you don't need to do in the coming week 
or so, and just leave it in the inbox. So then I'll close that back up. Now we can take a look at projects. So here's an example of a project um, to coach soccer, which is something I'm actually doing right now for my daughter. And I label it a project, and then below that I put all the tasks that fit into that project. So got to read the rules, buy some shorts, watch YouTube videos about how to coach soccer. Um, and then what I like to do with a project is if I decide, you know what, I really need to do this first one. Um, I need to do that this week. So what I do is go ahead and swipe to the right, click on the little three dots, and this is where I use a mirror. So I'm going to click mirror. Now it's ready for me to paste. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put it into, I'm going to paste it right here into the uh, upcoming. Now what that does is it lets me track this in two different locations. So if I get in here and I do the soccer rules and I complete it, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move it down to the logbook so that I know that I've done it. But you'll notice that it also updates it in the project, which I really like having a record of what I've done as a part of that project. But I can move it out into upcoming, move it down into today, and then I can log it, and it still tracks it within the project. That's a, that mirroring thing is really powerful for that. So that's how I use that, mirror, that new mirroring feature. Um, these other things... You know, I'm just going to basically I review my projects at the beginning of each um, week. So or sometimes daily, but usually just at the beginning of the week, I look at my projects and decide, oh, these are things I need to do this week. And if I decide to do it, then I just mirror it down into the upcoming or today um, bullet. All right. So that's projects. Projects are multi-step items. And notice everything that I do, I, I put a verb some sort of verb at the front to let me know this is an action. Um, that, I don't know where I picked that up. Probably getting things done, I think, that, that book. Um, all right. Now, as things move down, I, wanna, I, I really like being able to zoom into today. So I can just, you know, if I really want to focus, I say, okay, these are things I got to do right now. These are the top three, top five things I got to do today. That helps me focus on today. Um, and then... The logbook um, has different kinds of things in it. This is where the bullet journal comes out. So let's say, okay, so it's showing me the things that I've completed. And I just leave those right there. And then let's say I had a staff meeting um, a, a while ago. Um, and in the staff meeting, I've got the date. And what I do is I use a note, um, which is this little... Uh, pencil feature right here. So if I click on that pencil, that takes me into the note. And then I use the date feature for all of my, for anything that's not a task, I put a date on it. Um, and that way it kind of fills out my journal. So as I go through and I have meetings and I have notes from, you know, maybe I've got um, some ideas that I'm putting down. I always put a date. That way I know when I, when I had those ideas or when I had that meeting. And then you'll see it has the work tag and the meeting tag, which tells me, you know, this is a meeting. So I can go back and I can search for all my work meetings just by searching for those two tags. Um, or I can search for my work uh, lists and it'll pull up all my work lists. Um, that, if you keep up with your tags, that's very useful. And then you'll notice that within this meeting, I have um, a task that came up, a couple of tasks actually that came up in the meeting. So what I do with that is um, at the end of the meeting, I go in here and I do mirror and then I drop it in um, either the upcoming or I'm going to go ahead and put it in this upcoming right here. Um, so there's that task from the staff meeting and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Click mirror. Go up here, drop it in. There. So now I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to look for these anymore because I'm tracking them in my upcoming uh, task folder. So I'm taking my tasks, but I'm leaving a record of it because when I go back and look at my notes, I can say, oh yeah, look, I, I did that thing. You know, I delegated that task. 
Um, by the way, when I delegate a task, so let's, let's do it up here. What I like to do is put an at symbol and the person's name. So, oh, there you can see some of my actual people. Um, so I'm going to assign that to uh, JP. And then uh, when I search for things that I've assigned to JP, I can see, oh, yeah, that's what I need to make sure that I've asked him if he's completed yet, um, which I'm JP, by the way. So um, let's see. Every time you complete something today, you just move it down to the top of this list. So if I complete this, move it down to the top of the list. And so ultimately, this will create a running record of everything that I do. Let's say I am got a phone call, um, a phone call uh, with Steve. So then what I would do here is I would hit the note button. I would tell it it's today. And then I would put a tag in here and I would say, um, this is a work phone call. Uh, I don't know why I capitalized that. I don't like to capitalize things. And then it's a, a meeting because uh, basically it's a phone meeting. All right. And then um, within that phone call, I can take my notes about the meeting, maybe something to do. And I um, make that into a task. Um, and then at the end of the day, or whenever I decide, what I do is, um, first of all, I'll take this task mirror it, um, drop it in here, an upcoming. And then grab this and bring it into the log. So then you can see all of your meetings and everything. And this just keeps going. You just keep adding to the top of it. That's the bullet journal idea, that you just have a running record of everything that you do. Um, now I've been doing this for like three years, three or four years. And so I actually have within my logbook, I have, you know, 2019, 2020, 2021. So I've got them all basically by year. I mean, you could do it by month. You could do it by week. I've tried those things that ultimately I just decided, Hey, just leave it all one big running record. And it's easier to kind of glance through it that way. It's almost like flipping through your bullet journal because you can just look and see, okay, when did I do that recently? And you kind of scroll down and, oh, there it is, pop into it. So last thing here is collections. And this is um, from the bullet journal also. You can see I've got a couple different collections. One is a prayer collection. So I got things I can pray for regularly. The reason I put it here is because it's just easier to find than if it was somewhere in my logbook and I'm always going to it. Um, I've also got a grocery list that I actually share with my wife. And so... When we go to the grocery store, I don't bother putting tags in this because these are just things that we, you know, put on the grocery list. And that way, when you're in the grocery store, you can just go into that list and check things off. Um, and then the last one is templates, which I really like to use for repeating things. So, you know, every month I know I'm going to have to pay the light bill. I'm going to have to pay the mobile, the mobile bill and so, or whatever I got to do each month. So when you put hashtag template, it creates this little button. And when you click the button, it creates the new month. And what I actually do with this is just grab this whole thing and drag it up here to upcoming. And then um, there's not really a great way to do this, but I just sort of drag each of these items into my upcoming list and then I just delete that header um, and then these are things I got to do so now I know hey this month I got to pay the bill I got to pay the light bill and then every month I just at the beginning of the month I go down and click new month um, I use that for several different things that repeat or uh, like a outline for a certain type of meeting you want to have you know like things you got always agendas that are going to repeat you can create that kind of thing so anyway I hope this is useful to you um, 
and it's been a work in progress for a long time. I've been using Workflowy for a long time, and um, this is the system that happens to work the best for me right now. And who knows, it might change in the future, but um, good luck. Thanks for watching.